Hey friends, welcome to Epic Kids. I'm so glad you're here. This week, we're going to be learning about a man named Cornelius, a Gentile who believed in Jesus. Now, before we've talked about God's chosen people, the Jews. Well, Gentiles are people who weren't born Jewish, but just like Cornelius, anyone who believes in Jesus can be part of God's special chosen people. So let's watch the story. Cornelius was a Roman soldier. He loved God, helped other people, and prayed to God. One day, God sent an angel to Cornelius. The angel said, Cornelius, God heard you when you prayed. The angel told Cornelius to send some men into the city to find Peter. So Cornelius sent two servants and one soldier into the city. In the city, Peter went up on the roof of a house to pray. Then Peter saw a vision. A vision is like a dream, but Peter was awake. He saw a big sheet coming down from heaven. In the sheet were all kinds of animals, snakes and lizards and birds. A voice said, get up, Peter, eat. But Peter didn't want to. He thought the animals were unclean. A voice said, God has made these clean. Peter saw the vision three times, and he tried to figure out what it meant. Then the men Cornelius sent into the city found the house where Peter was staying. They told Peter to come to Cornelius' house. So the next day, Peter went with the men. When Peter saw Cornelius, he told him that the good news about Jesus is for all people not just Jews. Everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven, Peter said. The people there believed. Cornelius, his family, and his friends were baptized, and Peter stayed with them for a few days. God showed Peter that the good news about Jesus is for everyone. God wants believers to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they are or what they do. Jesus is the Lord of all. So what's the point of this story? Well, God's love is for anyone. It doesn't matter who you are, where you were born, what you do, God loves you and he wants you to be a part of his family. I hope that you feel his love for you this week. I'm praying for you and I'll see you next time.